Hey guys, long time no see. This is Alex from a &R Design and we're doing a review for a SHOT Show release. This is the Rost Martin RM1C. It's a compact pistol from a new company called Rost Martin out of Dallas, Texas. This is their first pistol to market. It's a pretty neat little pistol. It's got iron sights, blacked out rear, white front dot, a round chamber indicator in the rear. It's got a chamber window up top. So you know when it's hot, you know when there's a round in the chamber. It's got some grip texturing here in the front for your support side, for your support side thumb to rest on. Ambidextrous slide release, ambidextrous both way magazine release. It's got your little safety dingus on the trigger, kind of a exotically profiled trigger. A stipple style texturing on the grips, which is pretty, pretty grippy where it makes contact a slight beaver tail overhang on your webbing back here. Uh, a couple nice things to note about this too, the optic plates are metal, not plastic. It has a really nice race crown cut into it, which diverts gases forward, helps with accuracy of the pistol, recoil management. It's got front cocking serrations and anti-glare serrations on the top of the pistol. And it has a three position 1913 Picatinny rail. I think the most important things to note with this pistol in my experience, just dry firing it and putting a few mags through it. I really like the trigger. It has a really nice trigger pull. You hit that wall and it breaks really, really clean and really light. And then on the reset, the reset is really short and crisp. And the second you hit that wall, there is no mushiness. So really nice trigger. The barrel looks pretty nice. It takes down um, kind of like a Glock, but takes down like a A-Rex Delta where the four contact points on the frame, the internal rails in the frame, you gotta line those up with the voids in the slide. And it goes back together like that. So a Glock style takedown, trigger to the rear and you pop it off and then like an ARX Delta style four point window to get it locked in place. So anyway, these are first shots through the gun other than us getting it zeroed. It's pretty cold today and uh, I'm over caffeinated so quality of shooting is gonna be great. through that last one, back down to the exciting bit of only having one magazine for it because I left one at the office. They have Metgar magazines, very much Metgar magazines, which if you're not familiar is an Italian magazine manufacturer that makes really nice magazines. The gun is labeled Made in USA. It is a Made in USA pistol. Recoil impulse is nice. It feels nice in the hands. I personally would stipple it, give it a little bit more grip texturing. I wish the grip texturing that they have on the frame was like the whole frame, not the contact points of your hands because it is a little smaller gun. We're shooting 124 grain right now, standard NATO. All right, ejection. Ejection's a little weak. It's not really throwing brass, it's kind of popping it up and throwing it over. And again, these are first rounds through the gun. I always expect to have a couple malfunctions in the first 500. Uh, so far, nothing. So we will continue to shoot. <laughs> Drop some shots there, throwing rounds.
The recoil impulse is... Feels like you're shooting 124 grain through a compact pistol, but trigger's really nice. I'm plugging 50, a little bit of drop, but 124 out of a short barrel. Hitting a little lower than center of mass. Those drop shots at 50 as I was breaking the trigger a little early while my dot kind of came back. It's probably softer shooting with 115. It's kind of nice to go middle of the road with a EDC type pistol. Companies come out with pistols and they come out with a pistol that can shoot it all. They're gonna come out with a gun that shoots all types of ammo reliably. And that's great. I wish companies would come out with different spring assemblies so you could match the spring to the ammo because then you could run like hotter stuff, softer, lighter stuff with less snappy return to battery. Yeah, that's what's happening. I'm just hot spotting a little right there. I'm kind of, as a, as I'm shooting, this would be a good grip. As I'm shooting, it's kind of, I'm shooting faster. My grip starts to loosen up in that corner. It's hot spotting against that knuckle a little bit. I could probably stick that on a sisal wheel or something, kind of draw that angle out much more rounded and a wider radius might not happen. So very similar to what happens with the P10Cs in my hand. The P10Cs, I have to completely round that corner out and knock it down as far as I can without making it to the metal frame insert so that I don't hot spot just from riding the gun. Ross Martin reached out to us and they said, hey, I want you to make the holsters for our pistol. Absolutely. So they got us a gun, they got us the 3D models, and we were able to make a perfectly formed fit, CNC cut holster for it. This is our new concealment claw, which is great because it's got adjustable ride height. So you can move the claw up and down. Right here, I'm running the Neomag alias T-Post. When you order the holsters off our website, you can get the T-Post accessory, which mounts to the receiver on my belt and the receiver on the belt helps prevent the gun from tipping too much on the on the waist so you don't have to carry multiple clip attachments or multiple belt clips to keep your gun stable the alias t-post does that really really well in a quick disconnect capacity so you put about 15 mags through the gun for the pistol you're getting made in the united states it's got a really good trigger it's got a really nice barrel it's got really nice finish, DLC finish on the outside of the gun. Accessory rail, grip texturing, even the features down to the slide, really big cocking serrations, anti-glare serrations, metal sights, fully ambidextrous, and a pretty, pretty good capacity. You know, these are 15 plus two and a 15 round mag. I think the Ross Martin will be a really competitive and quality firearm for the marketplace in 2024.